Hello Whovians, how are you all doing today and welcome to All Things Doctor Who and in this new video I will be answering one question for the 300th subscriber videos. Now the question I will be answering is what made you choose to start the channel? Now the reason I'm answering this question is because I, I think I have a lot to say about this question. I have a backstory, I really want to talk about why I made this channel, what you guys mean to me and just the whole idea of this. So without further ado, let's roll the titles. So a disclaimer before I get into this video, this is not going to be a massive Doctor Who themed video, obviously it's going to be about all things Doctor Who, why I made the channel, but it's not going to be, be me reviewing an episode, a box set, the TARDIS set, a pop final figure, so if you're not really a fan of that then come back for the next video, but for now on, let's start this. So the reason I made this channel was, back in the day when I was still in school, I was a massive person for YouTube, I loved video loggers, I loved people who could talk on the camera about stories, and I just loved that idea, so I thought I'd make my own channel, and unfortunately the videos I did back then, like my really really old ones, are not online anymore, so I deleted them, and if I'm being honest, they were pretty awful, they weren't good, and I noticed a lot of my old stuff was very experimental in the fact of when I was doing vlogs I was seeing how I could do them, I was experimenting with different camera angles, um, when I did my movie reviews I was trying to make it into that because I was actually inspired by a YouTube, YouTube called Chris Stockman at the time, which I still am slightly, but my main inspiration for YouTube has to be Case Neistat. Now if you have no idea who he is, he's a daily vlogger, he's got over 6 million subscribers, and honestly, he's such a great YouTuber, he's insp inspirational, and he had a recent talk today about people making fun of you for making videos when you're at school. Now, I've had a situation when I was doing videos, A, I knew they weren't good, but I did them, and people still made fun of them, and I had a phase where I stopped. So, I think the reason I really continued this general channel was just for the fact of it made me happy. So, I suppose the message I've got to say for this segment of the video is if you're making YouTube videos, if you're in school, wherever you are, if it's Doctor Who, if it's vlogs, if it's anything that you're happy with making, don't start making it because you want to do it, make yourself happy and Case and I start described it perfectly. There's a list. Here is where people make, people make fun of you. Here is success. Now, you've got to get past that line to get to success. Now, the more you do that, the more you're going to be, the more successful you're going to be. But if you stop at people making fun of you, you're not going to get to that success line. So you've got a choice. Take that how you like it, but I guess that's my words of advice to all you. It wasn't until I started watching more video loggers and looking how they did their videos, how they made it more professional, and that's what really got me to where I am now. But for all things Doctor Who I suppose, well the first ever video I really did for that channel was missing episodes and that was just me talking about all the missing episodes and stuff like that. So the reason that video got noticed was because it was actually shared on a missing episodes group and that's when quite a few people started to subscribe to my channel. I'm not really up this channel going because the whole subject of missing episodes because if you don't know anything about me it's I love 6 Zero or Doctor Who and it's just the fact that the missing era and missing episodes just intrigue me and I love the idea of discussing them, of finding out more, of having the hope of me realising maybe more episodes are still out there. While on the subject of missing episode videos, I'm actually tempted to continue that series of reviewing missing episodes, so in the comments tell me below if you'd like the idea, but let's move on anyway. But what made me take the channel seriously, you know, just start doing it more professionally, start trying to get more people on, what really made me do that is just, I just wanted an idea of having a Doctor, Doctor Who community on my channel. I wanted the idea of not just my face on here, not just Joel's face, not just anyone's face, just every Whovian who wants to talk Doctor Who and to have an opinion. Because I love Doctor Who. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed with Doctor Who and just knowing that other people are obsessed with it just like me. That is incredible, it really is. I just think the whole YouTube idea is a fantastic idea and if it wasn't for YouTube I wouldn't know some of my closest mates right now such as Adam Fishwick, Charlie, uh, Alex Patterson from the Doctor Who God. Honestly, them guys are incredible and even people on this channel um, such as Jay from the Jay's Doctor Reviews, he's absolutely awesome and just all these people, it's just, it's so incredible and 
it surprises me so much that people want to actually talk Doctor Who on this channel. So to answer your question, what made me want to start this channel, it was the whole idea of just interacting with an audience about a certain subject, and it, I love that idea. I absolutely adore it, because I still love the idea, I still love improving my videos all the time, and if I'm ever going to get a chance, I'm always going to make a video Doctor Who related, and just keep it up for you guys. Now, I'm not going to blab on with this all day, because I know all of you have lives while you're watching right now, but I suppose I just want to say, if it wasn't for all you people subscribing right now, for watching, for all you people that have just subscribed that have been in my channel since the very start, it's incredible. It really is. 318 subscribers is what I'm on right now, and knowing over 300 people want to watch my videos, and saying over a week ago or something like that, we only got past 300. Now another 18 people have decided to subscribe to the channel. It's just weird because I can't imagine that many people want to know what I, what I want to know. And it's just so awesome. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video about me answering the question why I made all things Doctor Who and my older videos all together. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later in the new video. See ya.